It is so hot in here. Okay, I am fresh out of Target, um, and I just decided, I just decided to uh, film this video because I just decided to go thrifting, so that's great. And now I just realized, once again, if you guys can't tell from my last video, I don't know directions at all, and so I don't know where I'm going right now, so I should probably figure that out. But we're gonna go thrifting. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off finally, like I didn't do in the last video. It's been sitting here for a week or so. Then we're gonna do a little haul when we get back. So combining your two favorite things, which you voted on my poll. So I'm going to get my GPS out. We're gonna go to Goodwill. Ooh. So I've turned around twice. I'm turning around again because I started going to the Goodwill that I went to last time that closed on me. I really enjoyed the one on Sunset. So that's what I'm going to instead. But I couldn't remember what road it was on. I clicked the nearest one. It turned me around. Not where I wanted to be. I've arrived. I just dropped off all the stuff in the back seat. You can see it's finally clear for once. Um, there are actually a lot of people here, which is a little, a little concerning. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I will see you guys in there. stuff and asking you guys what you liked and what you didn't like because lately I've been feeling a little weird about my aesthetic but I really like a lot of the stuff that I got and I think you guys do too now we're gonna go home and do a haul so I am happy with what we got today and I also got a clothing rack and I'm going to be reorganizing my entire stock so you guys get to see everything that I'm preparing to sell as I organize it. But that's gonna be another video, so you should definitely check it out when it comes out and turn your post notifications on because that's the only way you would know it would come out. So turn them post notifications on. Okay, let's get this haul started. So let's start out with bags. Uh, I've been bit into like little 90s, 2000s bags lately. This one, super cute. Very vibey. I'm loving the crocodile big time lately. So, this will be on thrift soon. Another thing that I got, another bag that I got was another croc crocodilla. I always say crocodilla. Crocodile purse. I thought it was so cute. It's actually Liz Claiborne. I trust Liz Claiborne in the thrift store with my life. During this thrift trip, I actually tried to include a lot more sizes um, because I feel like a lot of people don't do that in general, but I feel like there's a lot of cute stuff in the plus size section. So this is a plus, this is a 12 petite. So this is just a bigger, a bigger dress, but it's a denim dress and I wanted to cut it. I wanted to cut it to like knee length, maybe a little above and it's in really good condition and I thought it would be super cute. This next piece was very confusing to me because I don't like LuLaRoe at all. I think it's a really weird brand. Kind of makes me uncomfortable, but I loved the pattern. How fun! This is a LuLaRoe. This is their tall and curvy size, I guess. That's a size. I will try them on and I will figure out what size they are. But I 
thought they were really cute. They look pretty full length and they're soft. I usually like really stretchy spandexy leggings, but I think those are like more like lounging. This is a t-shirt that I saw and thought it was really cool and kind of vintage looking. Love a good Florida tee. And it is, it is an extra large. So this will be a good, I always gravitate towards black vintage tees instead of any other color because I think those look the best. This next piece is another plus size piece, one X. This square neck puff sleeve moment. Love it, living for it. And this is a plus size option. Next is something that I, it's once again, one of those like little square top puffy sleevey moments, but it is a full button up top and it has a little peplum at the bottom, but not too much of one. So it's still kind of like a crop. It has like the square collar, the straight shoulders, and then a little bit of a, an exaggerated like hanging sleeve. We have a couple more things in this first bag and then we'll move on to the second bag and then we'll be done. Hopping on the tie-dye trend, but this is a size medium tie-dye. It's like the tie-dye that we're all doing right now, but it's vintage and it has a stain on the bottom, but I'm going to crop it and cut it at the stain. So this will be a cute little mini, has the smocked back and I think this would be very cute. The last thing in this first bag is something else that I would like to crop. It is this fun animal print paneled skirt. Oh, it could even be a top. Oh, it could be a top. But I think this is fine. A lot of people are doing animal print drops right now and I don't necessarily want to do that as well, but I want to feature some cool items that I found. This is a pretty long skirt, um, but I think it'd be either a really cute top, like a strapless top, or a really cute mini skirt. So, bag number two. I saw it and I just grabbed it and put it in the basket. I didn't even think twice about it. It is a genuinely vintage. It is awesome. So this is like Urban Outfitters dupe to the max. I pretty much have this skirt from Urban. So it's kind of like the stretchy material, like the really vintage stretchy, but it's an animal print and it has the buttons on the side. So that's gonna be like puff one. And it's a little midi, it's not super long. So it's probably gonna come to like mid calf. And I think this is a really good find. Um, it's a really good, or it's like a vintage piece that kind of like made its way into like modern times. Next, we have some very small, but I think actually a lot of people are asking for smaller sizes. Genuinely vintage Levi's. So quite obviously these have been loved and they also are distressed on the bottom. Kind of cool. And like rip right there. They're just light wash, light wash Levi's. This was the cutest. I have so many people in mind when I grabbed this. This is a J. Jill, it's a large sundress. Yellow, yellow, yellow sundress with buttons down the side. It also reminds me of those urban dresses that everyone buys with like the buttons on the front. I think I'm gonna keep this full length because it is gorgeous. It is so cute. This is a piece that I put on my polls, on my Instagram polls, and you guys voted to get this. So it's a little Betty Boop tee. It has nothing on the back, thank God. But it is probably like an extra large to a double X. Here's another one of the animal print pieces that I got. It's very basic. It's a medium zebra print tee. Might crop it, um, but probably the way I'm gonna style this for the drop is layering it under things because I think a lot of people like to do that. Really good basic zebra print and a lot of people are loving prints right now. So This is something that I think I want to alter. It has no tag, but it has shoulder pads. Um, it is a bright green button up top with a little, little tie in the front. It is so fun. I love the bright color with the animal print. I think it's a little like, it's like tacky enough, but like not too tacky. I think it's fun. I might crop it. <laughs> I might crop it. I'm probably gonna crop it and tell it to you guys. We're getting to the last couple of things. Some really cool champion embroidered sweat shorts. I love the style of shorts. I live in them. I literally just like, I keep buying them so that I can not have to wear a regular pants anymore because like it's so acceptable to put like a nice top over like some sweat shorts and go on about your day. So these are mediums. These are my last two items. This is one of the last things I picked up, but I thought it was so cute and pastel, very Haley Fam, very 
definitely vintage, but like, it's, I think this is such a good style. Like, with the little smock top, it's an A-line, and you can actually tighten this so that it'll squint your boobs together. This is a size medium, but honestly, I think it looks more like a large. And finally, a really, really, really cool pink denim skirt. But look at the back of that, that's so cool. I think I'm gonna crop it a little bit, but it might be too short because of that split in the back that I didn't see. That's kind of the length that I'm picturing for this. And I think it's really cute and I think it's really well made. And I like the aesthetics of it. So I'm gonna tell you guys how much I actually spent. So the grand total, the grand total was $81 flat. It's a long receipt. I'm very happy. I saved $11.24. Definitely a good one we scored today. And I am excited for the next drop. So all of this stuff is going to be sprinkled into the next few drops. So definitely, definitely make sure that your post notifications are on. As we continue to grow on this YouTube channel, I am so excited to continue to see what this brings for Thrift Like Unit. So if you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.